Welcome to the AquaFlow Crypto Lab. In this video, we will dive into the big picture chart. We were expecting a move from XRP during this month of January. Why? Because for weeks, we've been talking about the fact that the price was stuck between two major lines. The green support that we've been holding for more than six months and the red circle that rejects us every time that we touch it. The space between both lines was getting tighter and tighter so we knew that XRP needed to make a decision. So far so good, so I'm happy to announce that XRP had a bullish breakout as you can see. So there is room for hope and for the end of the bear market. Before crossing the red circle just right here, I talked about this area of confluence between the bull market support in blue and the red circle and I said that the price could be attracted to this area. However, let's be cautious because we still have this point of confluence between the green support and the red circle and we have another point of confluence just right here. But if we consider the bullish option, the next step would be to retest the bull market support in blue just right here. Of course, you remember that the last time that we crossed the line, it was just right here and it was officially the beginning of the bear market. In addition, every time that we get close to the line, we know that we need to hold our breath. Indeed, just right here, Technically, we didn't touch the line, the blue market support, right? Because we were stopped by the red circle just before, but we were very close to it. And this was a beautiful area of confluence between both lines. And we got rejected to the downside, right? Here, it was the same thing. You see that we were pretty close to the blue support, just right here. But we got rejected by the red circle once again. So now that we are inside the red circle and that we are approaching to the bull market support again, we know that this may be a big pivot point. But before worrying about the bull market support, we need first to hold the level inside the red circle, right? This is the first step. And if we do, it will be the very first time in the entire XRP history so let's not forget that. And it would be an early sign that the market could reverse the downtrend in a near future. And I said, could guys. So we have two direct resistances above us right now and they are around 44 cents. In this video, I wanted also to share an update of the bull bear market band that I just added on the chart and you can see it just right here. It's been a while since the last time that I showed it on this channel, so first let me refresh your mind. The bull bear market band has three colors, red, orange and green. So let's go back from the start and you'll understand what it is all about. You see that in bull markets, the band is green, right? For example, just right here during this legendary bull run, the band was green. Then. After this, you have this period, right? Where the band is green, just right here. You see that the band is green, right? And this was our recent bull market for XRP. Then in bear markets, the band is red. You can see it just right here. You see that the band was red and this was the bear market from 2018 to 2020. Then this is our current scenario, right? We know that we are in a current bear market because this is red and we are still below the band. And finally, when the band is orange, it means that the market may be in a transition phase. And in that case, there is no guarantee that the market will reverse the main trend, but it indicates that a reversal may come. Let's take an example. For example, just before this bullish move from XRP, before the SEC sell-off, we have this phase. This is a perfect example because you see that here we were 
in a bear market with the band that is red, right? Then the band went to orange, right? And then to green. So this is a perfect example of the power of the band. Before turning orange, we were below the band and we were using it as a resistance. We got rejected just right here and we had a lower low, right? But after this, we went inside the band. We stayed inside it for a while, using it as a beautiful support before a breakout. And once we had the breakout, the band turned green. Then it turned orange again, as you can see, you can see just right here in this area because we had the SEC sell off and the price went back inside the band. That's why it turned orange again, but it didn't turn red. And this is key. And it's because it didn't go below the band that we knew that the bull market would continue. And this is exactly why I'm saying that the orange color may be a transition phase between a bear market to a bull market or the opposite, right? But there is no guarantee because sometimes we may have a warning just right here. But finally, we have a continuation of the main trend. Then we had the orange color. So it was the first warning sign, but the price made it above the band. So it was not yet the beginning of the bear market, but we went back inside the band. So second warning sign, but this time we made it below. And that's how we knew that the bear market was official. After this, we had multiple attempts to reverse the trend, but they all failed and we went back below the band. You see here the orange color, here again, another orange color, here again, here again, but every time we couldn't make it above the band and that's why we got rejected from it and we went below it and it was the continuation of the bear market. Now let's have a look at the current situation. So as you can see, first, just right here, we had a warning sign and just after we made it below the band. And here we knew that we were officially in a bear market. And even if the price had a move up just right here, we couldn't make it above the band again, guys. It's exactly the same thing. We got stopped by the band and we got rejected from it. And it was the continuation of the bear market. It's that simple. So why am I saying this? As you can see, as I speak, we are currently getting closer to the band. So it may be a beautiful chance for us to retest the band and to stay above it for a while before making it to the upside. Okay, so you will tell me why am I using a bull market support and a bull bear band? It's because for any technical analysis tool that you take, there are advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so let me break it down for you. With the bull market support in blue, you have earlier signals compared to the band. For example, here we crossed the bull market support and according to this indicator, it was officially the beginning of the bear market, right? But if I compare it with the band here, it was the official bear market using the band indicator. So you see that with the bull market support, we have signals earlier. If I take another example, you see that here, for example, it was the beginning of the bull market from the bull market support point of view, because we went above it just right here, right? But if we consider the band, we went above the band just right here and it turned green starting from this date. So there is a huge gap of weeks between this date of the bull market support cross and this date when we went above the band. But the downside to the use of the bull market support is that we can have false signals. For example, here we crossed the bull market support 
but it was a false signal because we could have thought that we were in a bull market after crossing it, but we couldn't hold it as a support and because of this, we went back below it. That said, this is the only time that we had a false signal with the bull market line. So, so far, it has been doing a pretty good job. On the other side, we have the bull bear market band. And as you can see, instead of just one line, it's a band. So it's an area and it's showing us areas of supports and resistances. If we take a step back, you'll see that in this case, we have no false signal. As you can see, this is perfect because here we know that we are in a bull market. Here we know that we are in a bear market. Here we know that we are in a bull market. Here we know that we are in a bear market. This is very precise. But the downside is that we are getting the signals later. So keep that in mind. There is always a trade-off when using an indicator. So now if we come back to the current situation, you know that even if we cross the bull market support, it may not be enough because we have the entire band above us. And right now the upper part of the band is around 72 cents. And the day that you see XRP above the band with the band turning green, guys, it will be time to party. I hope it's clear. I broke down everything for you. You have a big picture. This is what this chart has been made for. Markets have structures and we can use it to our benefits. I don't want the video to be too long. So I will make a video dedicated to the moonshot chart. Let me know about what you think that XRP will do. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That's all for today's video. And as always, time will tell.